You know, I'd like to speak to you on something else that's bothering me. I've been out here for 33 years, and I've done everything I possibly could to make you American citizens aware of what was going on. You know, I might not be what you would consider smart. You know, I might have an education, a degree, but I don't speak like Barack Obama. I can't articulate my words and my phrases like Dr. Martin Luther King, though at one time I had hoped that I could. I mean, these guys are dynamic as speakers. And if I was running for president today and you were trying to make a choice between me and someone else, you would probably say, this man can't speak. Uh, but I tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, if I say come here, you know what I mean. If I say go there, you know what I mean. If I say I love you, you know what I mean. If I say I hate you, you know what I mean. If I say I'm going to put up with this, you know what I mean. And if I say I'm not going to put up with that, you know what I mean. So it doesn't take all those other smooth talk to say those things. But you know what? The things that are important are the things. And I've talked about prosperity, peace, and joy. I've talked about food, clothing, and shelter. I've talked about education, health care, and careers of choice for everybody. I mean, to me, that is the most important thing any nation could want. Sure, security to make sure that you can continue these things, but that's basically it. But, you know, over 33 years, no one has paid any attention to it. Why? Why? It is not my education. It is my color. It is my race. You say, well, no, it's not. Barack Obama is black. Barack Obama isn't black. Barack Obama isn't black. But I tell you what, if I were white, if I were white, America would go mad. They love me to death. A man who talks about taking all of the poverty off the streets, all of the ghetto stuff away, streets and stuff. You know, street signs that are made with precious jewels. I mean, they would just love me if I were white. But being black, I'm, I can come to you with these things. But no white man can come to you with these things. White people can't even think of this. White people are not permitted. They haven't been trained in any way. They've always been trained above to be God, to be the most important one. Not to be subject to something else or someone else. So they couldn't think of this. You ever heard a white man or a white person talk about complete peace and joy for everybody? If you have or if you're listening to me now and you have, then stand up and let your voice be heard again. Well, I hear no one. If I were white, every American would be loving me. Why do I say every American? You see, because... Black people really don't exercise the liberty of voting their free will. They vote after the white people say it's okay. For instance, when Barack Obama was running, few black people cared. Most of them, the ones who called themselves somebody, the ones who had made it, didn't care about Barack Obama. It was only until the white people voted for Barack Obama in that early caucus primary, or whatever you want to call it. It was then that black people said, oh, white people say he's okay. Well, let me give him a second look. Let me vote for him. I didn't know he could do it. If you think of mine, that's just a judge. If you think of mine, ask Andrew Young. If you think of mine, ask Al Sharpton. If you think of mine, ask any black man who walks around thinking he's somebody. No, Barack Obama didn't stand a chance because the white man stamped approval on him and then they were ready for him. So if I were white, white people would love me. I know they would. So black people have no choice but to go for what? The white people love. Not because I stand for all the good things, but because the white man said it was okay. Yes, if I was white, this nation would love me.